So we have looked at distributed databases, right? We know what is a distributed database. What do you mean by distributed database? You have many servers in many different locations. And all these databases communicate using some kind of links. So in Oracle, we have looked at database links to establish communication between different servers. We have to look at how distributed transactions work. What protocols they follow? What do you mean by a distributed transaction? A transaction originating at one particular site, but should be executed at many several sites. We look at what is a distributed uh, transaction. If a transaction T executes in different sites, you call that to be a distributed transaction. So in, that, in such a condition, what is that we arrive at? The transaction should commit in all these sites or abort in all these sites. Two-phase commit protocol is a protocol that ensures atomicity of a distributed transaction. Say you have two servers or many servers and there will be one transaction executing across many servers. Let me take a transaction. This transaction is transferring 100 rupees from account A to account B. That is one single transaction. Say if account A is in this server and account B is in this server. If I transfer 100 rupees from year to year, first I should access the server, subtract 100 rupees here, so account A goes to zero. Then I should go to this server, add 100 rupees here, so that account B goes to 300. One single transaction executing at different sites. So that becomes a distributed transaction. What should be the property of this transaction? It should commit in both these sites or it should abort in all these sites. How will you ensure that this kind of a consistency or atomicity is established? You have to use a two-phase commit protocol. So today's class, we are going to look at what is a two-phase commit protocol, how it ensures atom atomicity of a distributed transaction. So I have got some animations for you. You can directly look at the animations, understand that simple protocol. So let me show what is this two-phase protocol. I mean two-phase commit protocol. Let us take servers in different sites. Site 1, there is one instance running. Site 2, another instance. Site 3, site 4. Four instances running. And you can see here, I have assumed some values. That is here we have account A to be 100. Account B value is here, that is 200. Account C is in site 3, 200. Account D is in site 4, 200. So we have four accounts distributed across different sites in, in a distributed system. Now, let's say site 1 starts a transaction. A transaction will be initiated at one particular site. What is that transaction? I will transfer 100 rupees from all these sites to my account A. Or what I can say is I will subtract 100 rupees from site 2, site 3, site 4 individually and add it to account A. So that is one single transaction. So this transaction will be executing on different sites, that is site 1, site 2, site 3 and site 4. And I have given two boxes here. Say this is the hard disk and this is the instance that is running. Maybe you can think of that to be the Oracle instance running using the RAM. So this is an instance. If you are not clear about what is an instance, you can refer to my lecture on what is a database instance. So now what happens is this transaction starts executing here and uh, what will be the process when a transaction starts executing? Say this, whatever content in the hard disk will be moved to your main memory and the processing will be done. So there will be a transaction manager locally for every site. Every site will have its own local transaction manager. The site where the transaction originates will have the transaction coordinator. He will coordinate how these transactions execute in different sites and then the transaction starts processing that is it's going to subtract everything say 200 is subtracted as 100 200 is subtracted as 100 200 is subtracted as 100 in the buffer the so transaction executes on multiple sites likewise 300 is added to a because we are transferring 100 from every account to a 
So now the transaction is executed all its steps in all the sites. This is when the two phase commit protocol starts. We start with phase one. After all these steps are executed, we start with phase one. What phase one does is you say this is the transaction coordinator. The transaction coordinator will send a message to all the participants. Who is the coordinator? He is the transaction coordinator. You call all these guys to be the participants in the transaction. So the coordinator, he will log a message and then he will send this message to all the participants. In phase one, what happens? The coordinator logs a message on the stable storage. Okay, I'm going to send a, send a prepare message to all my participants. So this will be moved to the stable storage on the hard disk and this message will be sent to all the participants in the transaction. That is happening in phase one. Once when all these servers receive this message, the next step what they will do is, they will log a ready message. That is, they will log a message, ready message to their hard disks. Okay, we are all ready to commit. That's the meaning. So they will put that message in their hard disk and then transmit that message back to the coordinator. We are all done. We are ready to commit. That is the meaning of this. The coordinator will receive all the ready messages from every participant. Now phase 2 starts. After the receipt of the message, we have phase 2. What happens in phase 2 is, the coordinator will check whether it has received ready message from all the participants. If it has received ready message, then what it does is, it will log a commit log and then it will send a commit message to all the participants. Since everyone said we are ready, what the coordinator will do? Send a commit to all the participants. The participants will also log this commit on the hard disk and then they will change the data. So this is the phase 2. So this is two phase commit protocol. And uh, now we will see failures. What kind of failures can happen during a transaction? How it recovers? The first kind of scenario is participants failing. What happens when a participants fail? So let us again go to the same scenario. We have servers. We are going to perform the same action. Move 300 rupees from all these accounts to account A. And uh, everything gets changed. The buffer. Now everybody is ready. Now what happens is the coordinator is going to send a prepare message as usual. He will log it and send a prepare message to all the participants. Now what happens is the participants should send a ready message after logging it. So say participant sends a ready message but before that they will log it. So this participant is logging a ready message. Likewise this participant is logging a ready message and this participant fails. Maybe he crashes down or he enters into a network issue. So what happens? The remaining participants will send the ready message back to the coordinator, but this participant will not send a ready message back. The coordinator will know something is wrong because he didn't get the ready message from all the participants. So what now the coordinator should do? The coordinator should cancel the transaction because one of the sites failed. So what the coordinator does is, he will log an abort and then send an abort message to all the sites so that all these sites cancel the transaction. Cancel the transaction in the sense none of the changes in the buffer will be impacting the hard disk. So our change is nothing to undo them. This happens when a particular participant fails to send a ready message back to the coordinator. Failure scenario 2, participant fails after sending a ready message. What happens when a participant fails after sending a ready message? So, we will repeat the same process and uh, everybody has changed their contents in the buffer. Coordinator now sends, logs a prepare message and then he sends the prepare message to all these sites. So, once when the participants are ready, Right? Everybody is ready, right? They will log a ready message in their hard disks and then send a ready message back. After sending a ready message, this guy fails. 
what do you mean by a failure he can end up in a network issue he can crash down some disk failure can happen anything can happen but he has sent a ready message and he failed so now this coordinator what he will do he will he knows that everybody has sent a ready message so he is going to go and log a commit record and then send a commit message to all the participants he is not worried who has failed because since he got a ready message he just sends commit so this guy will not receive anything he is down the other two guys will receive a commit and then what they will do they will log this commit record first and then they will go and update the changes in the buffer to the hard disk so changes happen in two of the sites whereas this site is down and uh, he is not even able to get that commit message so what happens is this site it will recover in the sense whatever that is down will recover maybe we reboot it we start it again the site recovers but it is unsure what happened so how this should be fixed is this site should contact the coordinator to see what happened the coordinator will know the transaction committed using its log file right so this information will be passed to the participant so that this guy can go and apply the changes to his database now we'll take another failure scenario coordinator fails what do you mean by coordinator failing and uh, we'll uh, take one scenario here again four servers the same concept move 100 rupees from every account to your account a and uh, the transaction does all these steps phase one starts what is that coordinator logs a prepare message into the stable state and then sends the prepare message to all the participants now participants are ready say they log a ready message and then they send a ready message back to the coordinator when the coordinator receives the ready message it will know right everybody has sent a ready message what is the next step log a commit and then issue a commit to all the participants so participants will log this commit after logging the commit record they will be moving the changes to the hard disk so everybody moves the changes to the hard disk so everybody has done it right and they have done the commit and now coordinator fails see coordinator sends a commit to everybody and coordinator fails so will there be an any issue what should coordinator do it should also log this 400 to the hard disk right he has issued a commit but then he has failed so when he recovers what he will do he will go to the log files he knows that the transaction has committed so he will just apply the changes to the database so that it goes to 400 so everything happens recovery happens using log files okay so that is the scenario wherein a coordinator fails after sending a commit message so the coordinator will recover using the log files he will go and apply the changes if you are very unsure about what what are recovery techniques i have given a detailed uh, lectures on all the recovery techniques for database management systems for btech students you have to go and refresh that to understand this in depth okay failure scenario 2 this is the most important scenario coordinator fails after receiving ready message from all participants we'll take a look at this scenario again we have these uh, three or four sites the operation of the transaction is transfer 100 rupees from every site to site 1 so this is the coordinating site so as usual this guy will log in a prepare message once when on the transaction completes all these steps this coordinator will log in a prepare message send that message to all the participants participants will now log a ready message and then they will be sending a ready back to the coordinator so at this instance when they send a ready back the coordinator fails everybody has sent we are ready the coordinator received the messages and then it crashed so now how to recover unless the coordinator sends a commit all the others will be waiting so what happens when we use when you run transactions you are going to apply logs whole database items so all these uh, independent servers will be locking items and then they'll be waiting for the, the coordinator to send a commit but coordinator has failed so what is the only option available here is 
the coordinator should recover and then he, he should send a commit message to the participants what is the drawback of this till the coordinator recovers and sends a commit message every participant will be waiting for the message they will be locking the items and then waiting so that is called blocking of resources i mean the participants are locking the items and blocking the resources till the coordinator recovers and sends a commit message back okay so that is how the failure scenarios are handled in a two phase commit protocol what is a two phase commit protocol in phase 1 i log a prepare message send it to my participants participants will send a ready message if they are ready to commit in phase 2 the coordinator will check whether everybody has sent a ready message if everybody has sent it send a commit message to all the participants everybody will commit if one of the participants is not replying with a ready after an elapsed time the coordinator knows we, i didn't get one of the ready messages so it will send an abort to all the servers everybody will abort so this is how two phase commit works in a distributed environment mm -hmm.